Good morning, slaves. When I'm in Rochester and I want to see burning cop cars, I watch Rochester in the Media, home of the motherfucking resistance. Um, I was in my tent, I was awake, but uh, someone came to my tent and said the police were here and that they wanted to see everybody's IDs. Uh, we had one officer while they were talking to us and checking IDs, walking around and shining in each tent, making sure what was what. Um. So I was in my sleeping bag and I also had my laptop, so I uh, got my laptop out and I uh, have a video camera on it, so I got ready to record. Hello? <laughs> you want me to come all the way out? Oh, no. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> I don't have my shoes on. No, that's fine. What Thanks. is the purpose of suddenly asking for our IDs? Our boss has asked us to come down here and do it. Okay. Um, that's a legit answer right now. <laughs> I just didn't understand why suddenly we had to have our IDs. It was something that they got an email to start checking today. That's what we were discussing earlier. Okay. Um, I'm just kind of questioning this, you know. What's that? I'm just kind of questioning why we suddenly had to have IDs. We just want to know I've been here like three months. <laughs> and all of a sudden we had to have IDs. So just make sure you have it ready. I, I did give them my ID and... I think I'll be better prepared for it when it happens tonight as to what my response will be. Yep, I showed him my ID um, and everybody pretty much complied, didn't get much of a hassle. We did ask why um, repeatedly yeah. and the best we got was, oh, well, we got an email from the boss and we don't want to piss our bosses off. Yeah, yeah. Just, what time is it? Uh, it's uh, 2 o'clock. Yeah. 2 o'clock, okay. Um, okay, 2 o'clock in the morning. Okay. The police uh, had told Jacques that he had gotten um, an email from the deputy director and that um, that basically they were going to do this every night and that they said that our um, contract with the city had expired as of midnight. The contract stated specifically that so long as we're within substantial compliance of the rules, which we have been, um, that the contract shall be renewed at two month intervals. Um, considering that February 2nd would fall, you know, we've already hit two months and then it was renewed, so we're a month into the next two months and they want to say it's expired at this point. Yeah! Uh, okay, Oh, thank you very much. Yep. Okay. So the police are checking IDs at 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> okay. Um, it's kind of not so nice. So let's see. Here's my uh, Originally it was uh, about 11.45 when uh, they showed up to give us the first notice about the contract is uh, expiring and they wanted to get the names of every individual that was actually staying in camp. Um, said that they had to come through, peek in, check on everybody, see who was here. Then he changed his language, said that it would be alright if we gave them a list of people and left it on the uh, table accessible to them when they come through. Um, and yeah, about an hour and a half, two hours later, came rolling in with four cars. Um, Wanted to ID everybody, um, went into tents, wanted to see who was there, had us wake up people that were sleeping to come in and show their identification. Um, They've gone? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
what do what should we do about this? Is there a, um, any recourse? Well, I was going to say, I tried calling Ryan because he's city liaison. Um, he hasn't returned the call yet. Okay, well, I just um, videotaped. I well, I, I sound recorded. I put on my computer okay. and I recorded what was going on. Just so I have it on. It's still I'm going glad. now. I'm you glad know. You did. I'm glad you did. That's what I did. I pulled out the computer and I pressed record. So, <laughs> so at least we have something. Do we have their names and stuff? No. But it, uh, the one officer. The What's one the number on the. Uh, I see. Uh, oh, the license plate has something 17 on the back. Was it W or B or something? W. W17 is the car vehicle. I was going to do an Emily Good on them, but I didn't feel like bringing out the whole thing. Your face, you know? We're allowed to be here, and we have a right to be here, and the cops shouldn't have been hassling us. And I question whether they actually got an email or they were just bored. I mean, I, we can expect more politics. We can expect more strong arming. There's no question. Um, Buffalo got hit at the same time they all showed up here. Um, we're one of the few that are still in the public eye and in their face, and they hate that. So they want us gone. Um, and yeah, without us slipping up, they have to create a reason. And hopefully we'll be able to uh, catch them in their fabrication and expose them for the hypocrites that they are.